I started off making video games once upon a time. Then I had a ginormous quarter-life crisis and went, oh no, where's the meaning in my work? I've been in software for a little while. I started in QA and then I was in uh, management and team building roles. I remember my first lecture, I just felt like, this is the, you know, this would be the coolest place to work. If you're excited to sort of work hard and learn new things, if you're excited to just be a big part of science, I feel like this is the right place to be. Everyone I talked to said, if you're in Boston, the only place you should work is the Broad. If you're interested in genomic discovery, the Broad really is the only place to be. It feels better to be working on something that feels meaningful. I get to like meet new people and then get to casually say I help cure cancer for work, which is just like this mic drop in any party and then no one speaks to me. <laughs> it's a nonprofit trying to solve the world's diseases. If, that's, if that doesn't sell you on it as a starting point, that's, I don't know, there's something wrong. There aren't a lot of frontiers left, and this is one of them that is vast and really, really important. It is kind of like intimidating where you go, oh wow, like these are people who do big, big things. And then you go, they're working with the software that I write. I better make that good. We just called 20,000 genomes, which is pretty cool. And we're going to do 65,000 genomes. And you can't go and look and say, well, what did, uh, what did this other company do? Because no one else has done it. So all of that enormous torrent of data now has to be computed somewhere. And so we're trying to make that easier. We take software review really seriously in our group. Everything you write is reviewed by at least one other person. It's a great way to get much better at writing code. There are people who've been here for years and brand new people and they seem to really value growth in a lot of different ways. I started off doing bench research at the Broad um, in one of our clinical labs. I took some coding classes and kind of like started moving towards that direction. And then like before I knew it, I feel like I was swallowed up by the engineering team. <laughs> I've worked in environments that are like just work hard, do late nights and pull weekends. Here, despite the fact that our mission is like way more important, it's so much more casual and everybody is much more kind of grounded and down to earth about things. It's just really encouraging when your boss comes to say like, how are you doing? Do you like the projects you're working on? How are things at home? And you're like, awesome, thank you for asking. <laughs> I think everyone's aware of how important all of this is, but there's also a nice balance with the rest of life. Having a drop-in meditation class and yoga and boot camp, like all these other things just happening, and it's just nice to be able to have so many different kinds of resources. The work is really interesting. The people are really great. Everyone is friendly, everyone is really smart, everyone is really excited about what they're doing. This is, this is a place to go and do work that is meaningful, and you are actually changing the world by enabling science to happen. And the fact that I can do that with the skills that I have without like a lab coat or a PhD is amazing, mm -hmm. and I love it.